Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Ram and I'm the Casual Clownfish and today we have a very special opening for you. We have my bulk submission from CGC that was sent out uh, eight months ago. So this was sent out in March, right? A bulk order which means that there was at least 50 cards that went out to get graded. And it is the slowest uh, service that CGC offers. But yeah, so I sent out 56 cards uh, in March of 2021 and it is now November uh almost actually yeah almost the end of November uh 2021 so it's been about eight months that these cards were out and uh yeah it's been a long time coming so I'm super excited to get through this uh yeah so as I said we have 56 cards so we're gonna get go through all of them really quickly um but before uh, we go on uh, make sure to leave a like for some good grades maybe we can get a 10 in here you never know but um let's just go through all 56 of them all right let's get right into it all right so i have unpackaged all of the cgc cards here i have not looked at any of the grades so it's going to be a surprise to me but uh yeah we have 56 cards uh split into japanese and english so since we got a lot to go through, let's just go right through it. And we're, we're going to start with the, the English cards first. Um, so we're just going to be going through this uh, and see what we get. So first card up is a, ooh, Zarua from Hidden Fates, shiny. Uh, Mint 9, very, very nice. So Mint 9, very nice. All right, next card is a shiny Malamar from Hidden Fates. 8.5 on that one. So that one's going to go there. We're gonna separate them from, uh, by rating. So let's see what we get next. I believe it's another Hidden Fates card, just a guess. And hey, there we go. We got a Froki Shiny Mint 9. Very nice, similar grade to uh, Zorua. Next card is, ooh, nice, let's go. We got a Matang Shiny from Hidden Fates Gem 9.5, one off, uh, 0.5 off from a true 9.5. So that's very, very good. First 9.5 of the submission and of one of my favorite Pokemon, uh, or at least uh, evolution lines, the uh, Metagross line. All right, let's see what we got in this one. Oh, nice. So we got a Near Mint 8 of a Beldum. Uh, this is one of the Claymation Beldums. So uh, I, I know I've been mentioning it in the channel, but I have been collecting a lot of the uh, claymation cards so I just wanted to see how this card would grade and it has graded an 8 so I know this card came out pretty yeah 2015 so this card is almost six years old now so uh, very nice eight uh, grade off of that one so let's put that there it looks very nice in the the um, the clear casing so let's see what we got here I don't like how sometimes this uh, these cases are a little dusty kind of confuses me with the, what's on the actual card but let's see what we got Hey, we got another eight on this one. This is another uh, claymation Pokemon uh, from the Delta species. So this one's a lot older, 2006. Uh, e I'm pretty sure this is EX Delta species. So this is e an EX era card. Yep, Dragon Frontiers. And we got a uh, eight on this. And it looks like Surface was what uh, held it back. But very nice to get another uh, claymation um Claymation graded car. Very nice. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, there we go. We get a mint nine of a reverse hollow claymation card from Darkness Ablaze. So this one is actually pretty recent. Um, I just sent out these cards just to see how uh, CGC grades their cards. So this is a basic uh, basic card. This is nothing special. So yeah, I might have like lost money, but again, I am collecting all the uh, claymation cards and um, very very nice so we got a mint nine on this one the corners were, were uh, what held it back but nine is not a bad grade so I'm very happy with that one all right next card up let's see what we got we got a a an 8.5 for a Mimikyu uh, from Cosmic Eclipse so again another claymation Pokemon um, and this one got a 8.5 so it seems like the edges were a little bit off on this one but not too bad another 8.5 for us Good on that. All right, next card. Let's see what we got. Hey, okay. So we got the reverse hollow version of this Mimikyu from Cosmic Eclipse. An 8.5. Very, very nice. Very, I love how the shine still goes through uh, the case here. But very nice. So we got an 8.5 out of that. Again, uh, a lot of these cards are going to be in my personal collection. So the grades in terms of like monetary value aren't that important to me. 
Um, so I'm just glad that I'm getting a lot of these graded because I want to eventually, it's going to be hard, but uh, I want to grade a lot of the uh, claymation Pokemon that I, that I have. So let's see what we got here. We got A. So we have an amazing rare Raikou. Uh, we got a mint nine. So it looks like the centering is what held this back from a 9.5. Oh man, that's a little unfortunate. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to tell. I thought the centering was pretty good on this one, but mint nine is not bad uh, in my opinion. I think that's pretty good. So very nice. So we got a Raikou Amazing Rare. So my guess is we got another amazing rare coming up. Let's see which one it is. And we got a num number. Okay, we got a nine on this one. This is the Jirachi amazing rare. Uh, very close to a 9.5 on this one, but very, very strong nine. Love it. I love the amazing rares. I hope it's, it's there's only six of them, I think, right now. Or no, there's uh, six. Yeah, I think there's only six. No, there's nine of them. There's nine of them. And uh, I wish that they could really continue the line because it's, it's really, really pretty. So um, let's see what we got in the next one. All right, let's see. Hey, okay, so we got another Amazing Rare, and this is the Amazing Rare Rayquaza with another Mint 9. So, so far, all of our Amazing Rares have gotten Mint 9. That's not bad, not bad. Obviously, 9.5 is a little better, but again, these are just for my personal collection. So um, I don't see me selling these in the near future. So let's see what we get. It's got to be another Amazing Rare. Just a guess, but let's see. Hey, okay, so we got a Celebi Amazing Rare, Mint 9, and we've got, we've got 9 across the board for this one. So this is a true Mint 9. Very, very nice. All right, on to the next one. Let's see here what we got. Could it be another Amazing Rare? No, okay, so we got a Gardevoir V Full Art from the Champion's Path. We got a Mint 9 on this one. Very, very nice. So I believe this is one that was... A test card for me just to see how well I would grade and I don't remember what I would grade. I, I was I was hoping for or at least I knew it was a nine or something like that from what I remember I don't know it's been eight months but yeah uh, this is basically just a test card for me to see how well I uh, can well know the value of cards in terms of how good they are so very very nice so I guess uh, whatever I sent was a nine very very nice surface was a little low which uh, I guess there's a there's a blemish somewhere around here, but very nice. So Guard War V, Mint 9. All right, let's continue on. All right, nice. We got another Mint 9. We got the Moltres Zapdos Articuno Rainbow Rare from Hidden Fates. Very, very nice. A number 9 for that one. All right, this one probably is the Mosaic Rare. Or not the Mosaic, but the Stained Glass one is my guess. And there we go. It is the Stained Glass one. It is a 9.5. Very, very nice. Our second 9.5 of this uh, return. And I'm very glad. The centering is, uh, was 0.5 off from a true 9.5. But yeah, no, this card is super, super cool. And I'm glad that uh, it got a high grade. It's, it's, very, it's such a unique card. And uh, very, very happy to see a very nice grade with that. So 9.5 on that one. That's uh, only our second one. So let's see what we got next. All right, so we got Giovanni's Exile, a mint nine from Hidden Fates. Centering was a little off on this one, it says. Uh, yeah, the bottom's a little bigger than the, the top, so that's probably what knocked it up. But we got a nine on that one. Very nice. All right, let's see what we got next. Hey, okay, so this is the Pikachu from the... Uh, Special box. Uh, I forget what it's called, but I know I opened it on the. Uh, I think I opened it on the channel here. But we have a mint nine uh, on this one, which is very nice. Centering was a little off on this one, but uh, very, very, very nice. Let's see. I believe I sent two of them, so this one should be the other one. Let's see if we get a higher grade than than this one. Let's see. Oh, we knocked down a peg. We got an 8.5 on this one. Very, very nice. Still love the artwork. Uh, it's one of yeah, I love how it's like a, it's the, basically a full art card and it's holographic But yeah, so we got another Pikachu uh, 8.5 on that one All right, let's continue on. Let's see what we got here. Hey, okay So we got a character rare from cosmic eclipse. We got the Torkoal We got a mint nine on that one. Very very nice. Okay, cool. I love the character rares, and I know uh, right now in t in when I'm recording this, VMAX Climax is coming out soon, and that set is reintroducing character rares, and they look great right now. Um, exciting to uh, to be opening that set when that come out comes out. So we'll see. 
All right, next card is an Espeon EX 8.5. Okay, so this was another test card that I sent in because I just wanted to see, again, my abilities to send in a card that was gonna do well. And yeah, 8.5. So we got nine, 8.5, 8.5, nine. But yeah, this is a older card. I just wanted to see how they graded it. So 8.5 on this one. Not too mad about that. All right, let's see what we got next. Okay, we got an 8.5. So again, another uh, more test cards because a lot of these older cards uh, were part of my binder that I found uh, that I used to collect. So this was one of them, uh, which was a EX Dragon Frontiers Snorlax Hollow Delta Species from 2006. It's so, so old, but yeah, I just wanted to see how it would grade because this was something from my binder um, and it looks like it did pretty well uh, in terms of grading so an 8.5 on that one all right let's see what we got on this one hey okay so we got uh, Dedenne GX uh, one of the trainers toolkit promos uh, we got a 9 on this one very very nice such a such a beautiful uh, full art card all right let's see okay we got a Raichu um, from the special collection Raichu GX uh, box. We got a mint nine on that one. Very nice. Let's see what we got. And this one, a hey, okay, so this is one of the uh, Hidden Fates Charizard GX promos. We got an 8.5 on this one. Alrighty, 8.5. Next we have, a hey, we have the EVGX uh, promo uh, from the Pikachu and EVGX. Uh, GX collection. So we got that. EVGX Mint 9. Very nice. Alright, next up is... Boom. Hey, we got Pikachu VMAX from Vivid Voltage, the Chonky Chew that... Uh, sorry, the Chonky Chew that I pulled on this channel. We got a 9.5 on this one. That is awesome. Our third 9.5 uh, from this and it looks like the centering was the only thing that was holding it back but yes a very nice 9.5 gem mint 9.5 that's awesome all right let's see what we got for the last english card here today let's see what we got we're gonna flip hey okay let's go another 9.5 awesome so this is the charizard v from the uh what is it the Oh yeah, the Champions Path Elite Trainer Box Charizard. So this is a, a very, very nice one. I know there's a lot of these on the market now because um, everyone was like, oh, this is this is great card to flip. But um, yeah, so we got a 9.5 again centering. Nine, very, very nice. So a, our fourth 9.5, very, very nice. All right, so that does it for the English. Let's get on with the Japanese cards. All right, so let's move on to the Japanese side. Here we go. So our first... Japanese card is hey we got a Uveltal with a mint nine. Oh, very very nice I again amazing rares are so so cool um, and uh, very very nice um, so one thing that I noticed while I was uh, looking at all of these um, cards is that the label is different than it's actually newer so here I have uh, my uh, shiny Charizard from Hidden Fates that I graded back, uh, I don't know, like five months ago. There's a video on my channel about this, but you can see that this label is, first off, it's blue, like all blue, and uh, this one's more lighter, and also the grade is off center, but this one, the grade is center. So I know that's, that's something that um, people have been complaining about, but um, all of these grades have been pretty centered, so I think they fixed that, which is good, because that's one thing that people were griping about, but very, very nice. So we get a mint nine for this very cool all right next one is a we got another eveltal we get a eveltal with a 9.5 on this one very very cool all right i believe i sent like i sent a lot of these because i they were pretty cheap so let's see what we got a another nine. Ooh, a 10 that's our first 10 i believe that we've seen today um in terms of subgrades so the corners are perfect on this one apparently very very nice all right, so a nine on that one. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna flip. Hey, so we got a the Reshi Ram Amazing Rare. We got a mint nine on this one. Very cool, Amazing Rare. All right, a hey, another nine for the Reshi Ram Amazing Rare. All right, let's see what we got. A hey, another nine. Let's go. Okay, 
very similar grade to the one before and then let's see what we got in this one okay nice nice okay so we got a kyogre amazing rare one of my favorite pokemon ever uh i don't know if you noticed but i love gen 3 uh hoenn uh but mint 9 very very nice and this card is uh, it's so 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 cool um i believe i sent out six of these so let's see what these get so we got a first one is a nine we got another nine very nice Let's see. All right, we get a, ooh, our, oh, sweet. Our first true 9.5, very, very nice. A Kyogre Amazing Rare. Super, super cool, awesome. So another 9.5 there. All right, let's see. Hey, we got a nine, awesome, awesome. Very, very cool. All right, let's see, another nine, okay. I think there's one more. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay, 8.5. Uh, this is not a Kyogre. This is the Zacian Amazing Rare um, from Legendary Heartbeat. Very, very cool. So we got an 8.5 on that one. That's our first 8.5 in the Japanese uh, pile. So let's see what else we got here. We got, ooh, we got the Secret Rare Energy from Tag Team GX, the grass version. We got Mint 9 on that one. I believe I, I sent a few of the the secret rare energies yep there we go so we got fairy uh energy from tag team gx the secret rare mint nine hey okay we got mint nine on the uh the steel secret rare from tag team gx hey okay let's go oh wow this one was so close to a 10 oh man so so close 10 9.5 10 and 9.5 very very close we could have gotten to 10 on this one but Hey, it's okay. We got a 9.5 uh, Secret Rare Psychic Energy from Tag Team GX. Wow, so close to a 10. Man, that would have been wild. All right, so we got another 9.5. All right, let's see what else we got. Hey, okay, so we got a 9 on the Fire Secret Rare. Very cool. And a hey, another 9 on, well, another 9. We got a on the Lightning Secret Rare. Lightning Energy. And then, let's see, Whoop. okay, oh, sweet. So we got a 9.5, another true 9.5, Guard Chomp and Giratina GX from Tag Team GX All-Stars. Very, very cool. Super, super awesome. Another 9.5, very awesome. We still have more to go. Can we get a 10? Let's see. Oh, let's go, another 9.5. Dang, man, I'm just, I'm just uh, noticing that, uh, yeah, the, the theories are true. It seems like Japanese cards do grade a little bit better. Another 9.5. Let's go. 9, 9.5, 9.5. So we got the Dene GX again from Tag Team GX All Stars. Wild stuff. All right, let's see here. We got a 9. Ooh, the Reshiram and Charizard GX from Tag Team All Stars got a 9, which is not bad at all. Nines are good here. Oh, let's go. Another true 9.5. This card is so awesome. The artwork is just, uh, it's so good. Uh, we got Blastoise from Tag Team GX All-Stars. The Hollow, very, very nice. Graded super, super well. 9.5 across the board. Very, very nice. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoosh. Oh, let's go. Another true 9.5. Gosh, these Japanese cards are just killing it. We got a Mewtwo from Tag Team GX. Man. So cool, so cool, so cool. All right, we got gem 9.5 on that one. We still have some to go. Can we pull a 10 out of here? Oh, let's go, 9.5 again. I, I guess I sent another one, I didn't, I don't remember. Uh, another um, Mewtwo, 9.5, wow. These cards are gorgeous, man. All right, let's see what we got in this one. Oh, 9.5, let's go, Jirachi. From Tag Team All Stars, let's go. The Hollow Rare, another 9.5. We're literally getting 9.5s out the wild zoo. Uh, let's see what we got here. Another 9.5. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Victini, very, very cool. And then finally, we got a final card. Did we get a 10? Very unlikely. I know 10s are super, super hard to get from CGC, which I like. I mean, it, it makes it so that there's, I mean, if you're doing like an average, shouldn't a 10 be like the most, most rare and like 9.5 be the average, right? That's why I, I like the hard grading because then it makes a 10s a 10, you know what I mean? That's just my opinion. So let's see what we get. Did we get a 10? 
Oh, oh, let's go. We got a 9.5. Oh, this card looks so cool. Oh, man, this card looks so cool in the, uh, the glass. Well, not the glass. It's the uh, plastic case. But, man, the mirror reverse of uh, Articuno from Tag Team GX All-Stars got a 9.5. Man, that card looks so good. Another 9.5. Again, very close to a 10. We almost got it at the end there, but, man... Very, very nice, but uh, I don't know if you can see here. I'm just going to move these over, these piles, but you can see English cards here, and then we have our Japanese cards here. Looks like, yeah, so they were pretty much even in terms of how many I sent, but uh, as you can see, nines pretty much exactly the same. No, actually exactly the same amount of nines between English and Japanese, but the 9.5s, uh, you can see here, that, yeah, we got four from the English and then a huge amount of them uh, in the Japanese. Almost more than double, I think. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, it, it is true that Japanese cards do grade a little bit better. So, um, just take that into account when you're grading cards. But, yeah, so here we go. We have all 56 graded cards that came back to me after eight months of waiting. Uh, would I do it again? Heck yes. And, of course, I have more cards that I, I'm getting ready to send, but it's definitely something they're gonna be doing once a year. It's not something they're gonna be doing very often because I'm more of a collector rather than like a investor slash seller. But um, yeah, uh, very, very happy to see all the grades here. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you made it to this point, uh, comment. Um, let's comment centered grades because CGC finally decided to center their grades. So if you made it this far, comment centered grades. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more from me on this channel. And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Casual Clownfish out.